graphing horizontal lines. Here we have an example y plus 7 equals 11. And notice that there is no x term. When one of the terms is missing, either x or y, we know what we should do first is solve for the variable that is there. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take y plus 7 equals 11. I'm going to bring the 7 to the other side equals 11 minus 7. And I get y equals 4. Well, what this means is that y equals 4 no matter what it x equals. If x equaled negative 3, then y would equal 4. If x equaled 0, y would equal 4. And if x equaled 4, y would equal 4. So there I have three points. And I can graph this line and see if it indeed is a horizontal line. So when x equals negative 1, 2, 3, y equals 1, 2, 3, 4. When x equals 0, y equals 1, 2, 3, 4. When x equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, y equals 4. And if I go ahead and graph this, notice that if I connect the points, I get a horizontal line, don't I? And you'll always get a horizontal line when you have y equals some constant. And whatever the constant is, 4, negative 10, whatever it is, that's where it goes through the y-axis.